feet is quite quite nice it almost feels like i have nothing in my ears all right this is my first impression of the airpod um four from apple it's quite smaller package compared to the old generation um that i've had for a while for context this is my earpod 3 box i've had these for ever since it launched and this is the box it's quite bigger than what you have for the ipod 4 so let's put that aside and uh, unbox this one same satisfying apple unboxing experience quite straightforward um, greeted by the by the airpod less paperwork um, no more apple stickers i believe just regular um, setup guide and iphone the most interesting thing about these is how they manage to have noise cancellation up here which is quite interesting um, and you will notice it's quite smaller um, i had this customized uh, with my name D's which is just what you can see there um, it's quite smaller compared to the 3 but it's it's not that much if you just look at it but holding it it feels a little bit not a little bit way smaller than the other and if you take it out you already see like a bigger notch up here and just for context this is the four and this is the three it's not a huge difference but it's smaller it's noticeable um let me put this aside and you will never <laughs> mix them up ever uh, it has a larger notch here on the three and the four has a small notch and the feet um Feet right about the same in my hair. Um, I'm wearing one of them right now. So that's pretty much the unboxing experience. Comparing these to that. Sound wires though, I'll need to check that. The pairing experience should be quite similar to the older earpods. Okay, I'm not hearing. Okay, there we go. Interestingly, it has that customization that I have showing up. I think that's, I'm not sure you guys can see that, but it's showing my customization right there. So I, you know exactly what you're connecting to, which is something that's really cool. <laughs> um, on my icon here, it shows my uh, listening mode, personal by the airport to switch, okay. Lower volume when I start speaking, that's cool. Control your airpods by moving your head, turn that on. All right, I think that's, that's all the setup. The feet is quite, quite nice. Um, it almost feels like I have nothing in my ears. Um, I'm not sure if the noise cancellation is on on my phone. So, so right now I'm in transparency mode. Noise cancellation, oh, quite decent, not bad, but it's not. Okay, transparency, noise cancellation. Yeah, I can already hear that more fully in my voice. I mean, you're not gonna get an AirPod Pro experience on these ones, but. In terms of audio quality, um, I never had a problem with this. I mean, they're not my go-to. I'm an audiophile, so I'll see use my DAC and my Neumann headphones. Anyway, I use the NDH30, by the way. But overall, these ones, um, let me play a track here. <laughs> I can notice a bump in the bass uh, a little bit compared to the three. I 
a little bit more punch um, on the high frequencies. The mids are a little bit lower. Um, Okay, Keith Oven just released another one today, so I'm gonna go ahead and listen to Love is Hard. The mids are very crisp for vocals. Like, you can hear that clarity that you still hear on the three as well, but there's something about the punch that this has maybe because it's clean <laughs> and this has been roughened up a little bit i'm not really sure but overall i think it's a good buy i i'll test it for a couple of days and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated how i really feel about this one more thing uh this does come with a usb-c i mean and it's smaller phone factor so so using it outside with a noise isolation on it's actually quite interesting um because i have my neighbors like doing the alarm right now and it's quite noisy but immediately i put it in it's kind of separates the noise i could still hear it but now it's like reduced so i wouldn't call this noise cancelling i would actually refer to it as a noise reduction thing which is really amazing um conversation awareness However, you have to turn that off because the moment you start talking, the noise isolation goes completely away. Um, and then you have like just a blend between transparency mode and just your normal mode when you start talking. But the moment you stop talking like I'm going to do right now, it kicks back in. And the audio you're hearing from this video is actually from the AirPods 4. Um, so I don't know what it sounds like right now, but I guess we'll find out the audio quality and all that good stuff. But so far, it's good isolation. And I'm here comparing it to my in-ear monitors here, um, which I use live on stage for noise isolation. They're pretty much very close. Uh, I'm not sure how to measure how much of that sound or audio it cuts off or reduces, but it cuts it up to a reasonable level. Compared to these, I think this is doing a better job with the isolation. Because it's actually reducing the noise a little bit more than my in-ear monitors would do, which is actually passive compared to these, which is active with microphones there, canceling the audio and all that good stuff. So that's I just did my own test um, of the AirPod, and I'm recording this video with my iPhone as well. Um, just getting this audio into it. So this is what you get when you record video or um, when you're trying to make calls. It might be a little bit different for calls, but. I mean, this, you get the whole idea for the outdoor use. In terms of fitness, um, pretty much similar fit to my three, so I have no complaints there. Um, again, I'm not sure how I will do this one size fit all thing, but it's working quite well, at least for me. 